Hello, this is Kevin Annett, Eagle Strong Voice. It's May the 29th, 2023. I have a breaking, historic news announcement from the International Common Law Court of Justice. King Charles is named by an insider as the instigator of a kill order against a Canadian Aboriginal man. A former British Army officer describes a meeting to eliminate William Coombs, the sole eyewitness to the abduction of children by Queen Elizabeth. A public summons and reclamation order is to be issued. And here are the details from London. The present King of England, Charles Windsor, ordered the killing of the only living eyewitness to his mother, Queen Elizabeth's abduction of 10 Aboriginal children in 1964, according to a former officer of the British Army and a member of the monarchy's security team. In a legal affidavit dated May 16th, 2023, and issued to the International Common Law Court of Justice. This officer states that in late December of 2010, he participated in a special operations meeting in Buckinghamshire to plan the murder of William Coombs. The meeting was called by Major Johnny Thompson of the Royal Regiment, who was the security advisor to the then Prince of Wales, Charles Windsor. According to this affidavit, quote, Major Thompson told us he was appearing on behalf of His Majesty the Prince of Wales, who had ordered the elimination of a foreign assassin threatening the royal family. I was surprised at the time that such an order was not being handled through MI6 and its overseas contractors. I was even more surprised when the target was a Canadian Red Indian, since normally the RCMP have jurisdiction over such operations. When one of my colleagues raised this point with Major Thompson, he replied, quote, The Mounties will handle this one on the ground. We're just setting the wheels in motion. This is a royal directive with the knowledge and consent of the Canadian Governor General, Mr. Johnston, unquote. It was later confirmed to me that in early February 2011, Canada's RCMP Commissioner, a Mr. Elliott, dispatched a squad of operatives to Vancouver to deal with this target. I also learned later that the target was an Indian. The one they had killed was a man named Mr. William Coombs, who as a homeless man seemed to me to be an unlikely terrorist. But when I read of William Coombs' statement regarding his witnessing of the Queen's apparent abduction of 10 Indian children in Kamloops in 1964, and of how he was to speak about that incident before a public tribunal in London in the spring of 2011, I could understand, although not condone, the action of Prince Charles in taking Mr. Coombs off the board. Unquote. On February 24th, 2011, sure enough, William Coombs was forcibly detained by RCMP officers in Vancouver and incarcerated against his will in St. Paul's Catholic Hospital. There he died two days later of arsenic poisoning, according to his attending nurse, Chloe Kirker, and her full statements attached to this broadcast. A public summons is being issued to Charles Windsor as the chief fiduciary officer of the criminally convicted Crown of England to appear before a common law court to answer charges of his complicity in murder and a criminal conspiracy. And in addition, a reclamation order will be proclaimed under six, Section 61 of Magna Carta, which allows the seizure of Crown land and wealth belonging to any rogue or criminal British monarch. The reclamation follows from the previous criminal conviction and lawful nullification of the British Crown for its genocide of Indigenous people in Canada, along with its partner in crime, the Vatican, and other churches. Further updates can be found at murderbydecree.com under ITCCS updates, and every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern, post it at bbsradio.com slash here we stand. This is Kevin Annett, Eagle Strong Voice, for the International Common Law Court of Justice, May 29th, and stand by on June 11th and 12th for actions related to the 25th anniversary of our first tribunal into genocide in Canada. This is Kevin Annett, Eagle Strong Voice. I thank you.